Hello, this is a video about converting my utility trailer, 20 foot utility trailer, into a convertible 24 to 26 foot side by side uh, utility trailer to haul two four seaters. And as you see there, the block there, that's where the tires of the second one is going to set. And I've done some measurements here to where I've made slide rails for this trailer so I can use the back ramp as a slide. And then in the front, uh, right there, I've got a space, 4x4 four four space, and some measuring points to measure out for that slide and the distance I need for that other four-wheeler. And uh, right there it is. That's how it sets in it. And you can see there's more space there if it needs to be a little longer and you can slide that in and out if you need to and uh, the front one's sitting on a slide in the front with the wheels hanging out uh, it's working good on the front i got the space i needed up there all right i got it loaded up this is a pretty good bend you ain't gonna be able to jack it real steep, but I just pulled it out of there. And it gives you room. You can go a little tighter. You can actually watch it where the tire's sticking out. You can see it before it hits the truck. Well, here's the update, guys. Here's a convertible 20 footer. See how notched out? I dropped the front rail. You see how high it used to be. In the middle, I dropped it, notched it out, so the tire come through. Made me a frame for the ramp. Added some extra right here to hold the tire up so the suspension wouldn't droop. Added me some uh, anchor points. I've got my ramp fastened on the first cross member back there, this cross member, both pieces, and then I've got this A frame right here. So I've triangulated the front section of the frame of the trailer so all the weight of this thing will be pushed from here all the way back into there because I didn't want my frame rails to bend right here like they usually do. holding it good this is uh, putting two four seaters on a 20 footer I made a 20 footer convertible utility trailer and this thing was all rickety so I put brackets in here bolted it solid to the frame and I bought C channel right here 20 foot pieces Put one on each side. It goes all the way back, welded solid to the frame. So I turned this utility trailer into a heavy duty because it's got a C channel that the tongue comes back and stops, and then it's got another C channel sitting on top of it that goes from end to end. And what I had left of the C channel, I cut and made bucks. see this thing's it's solid now you just take the bolts out I left the hinges in the pins just take the bolts out when you want to use it see now braced above the C channel to here on the inside of the fender there's another one that comes up to this rail so it's doubled right here and the cross member right here I put another piece back to back and it's a double cross member between the axles. And that made it wide enough to buy this big heavy duty anchor. And it's welded to each cross, cross member. And I've got my jig set up here. I kept uh, that much space between the two side by sides. There's my measuring point. back here you can see the C channel running I bought more 
angle and my diagonal braces to really stiffen up the back end of this trailer. And my ramp, it's another convertible part. You take it off, unpin it, take it off, and turn it around and push it right back in the frame rails. See, it'll lay down in the frame rails. Because I need for the other side by side to fit on here, it's got to come to this point right here. That's where the front tire is going to be touching. 117 inches. That's, I need to redo that. That's not right. I added it on out. I pushed it on out further. I need to update that. But you see 112 inches from here back to the post of that side by side. And then for their front tire to be sitting here, that's that's pretty good. That's just that much distance off the frame. So that I had that much more for, for leeway to get it up on there. And I've got angles cut right at this point. I'm going to run a piece of angle across and connect these two together. So directly under the tire will be an angle. So it'll tie, it'll box this piece in to support Then I've got these made. A little gap, make sure there's a space in there. I want, I've got a stop on it. And what that does, it makes that tailgate a slide. So once you stick it in down here at the end, you can slide it in that pocket. And that's gonna be supported by that. And also, trying to come up with something that'll go maybe from this pin back up to the point here on the frame or down here up to the frame and that'll help support plus hold it locked into the slide rails it won't slide out I'll have you up off the trailer easy peasy nothing bent nothing flexed use my ramps my car ramps as side by side with a drug on that so that kept it up off the ground it worked good and uh, this is just a piece of flat steel bend it over and welded it to give it, give it a little extra strength extra strength drill holes in it put bolts in it I'm gonna weld a nut on the back side of this so when you run it in there you can thread it and the brace it hit on top of that seat channel right there's the brace so it's setting right on this frame here good problems I even like where uh, it sets up higher than the floor when it sticks out and that's put more height on the trailer in case you go over something your uh, part you got your convertible part ain't gonna drag 
and I put those on the bottom of it to catch it. So right here's where that T-Rex comes to, tire touching. So his tire be right there. screws back down in the boards and it'll be done I think I'm gonna add some metal right here down to here two pieces of angle arm one right there and one right there because if it did shift the tire come over and hit that stop that was about two inches away from the tire on each side front bumper came all the way to the end of the board. If I wanted to make me a stop, I'd have to weld something on the end of the steel here. Cut this board off. Put me a piece sticking straight up to catch it. All right, here she is, all done up. I'm finished with this project. ahead and made me some lineup marks. That back there is where the back tire is going to stop at. And I put these braces in right here. The tire will be just about an inch from them, an inch and a half. When it's sitting all the way out here. In case it slides, the tire come over and lay against that. And that's Another piece of brace, you know, another triangulation there. That'll work. And I put quarter inch bolts back in it, holding the strips down. Because I'd flipped the boards upside down. Uh, the top was, you know, dry rotted and faded and cracking and looking awful. And the bottom of them still looked brand new. So I flipped them all over and put some sealer and stain on it. I put it, I couldn't catch that one all the way, so I put an extra bolt there. And it only had one row of bolts in the floor, right here. That was it. That and up at the front and the back. It's all held it. So I put that row back. And I come back here, I figured if that's in the front of the axles, I come back here at the back of the axles and put another row. And it was floppy and movy when you walked around on it and brought something on it, it moved. And now it's got it real good and solid. I just finished stapling my wires back up on the bottom of them. Went around, let rain on it couple of times and the rust will pop out where the bare metal was showing. I fixed that. Got it all painted. So my bolts here is what holds, help holds it in the slide. That's, that hits the stop back here at the back. And you see I've got a hole in it. So I put my bolt up here. And these uh, pieces of metal that I bent and welded to go on the end of the slide I zip tied them inside this because it'll probably be used more often like that only once occasionally will it ever be converted the way we use it me and, me and him both use it so it's got her all done up now that's a 20 footer convertible that means we've gained extra two foot out the front and out the back is two foot and you can add a little more than two foot if you needed it so I put it into a 24 footer to hold two four seaters <coughs> well, there she is guys appreciate you for watching please give me a like a thumbs up 
more fabrication work coming. So please subscribe. See you later.